Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk dolls houses, making miniatures, DIYs and Sylvanian families. So if you have been watching my recent video, you know that I checked out AliExpress and a lot of dolls house miniatures and we did a little review session on them. Since then I also found out that they sell Sylvanian families. Now these are most definitely fakes and knockoffs. So I thought it would be fun to buy a bunch of these, compare them to some of the originals, see where they're going wrong, see where they're going right, and just see what we get. So if you're interested in this video, keep on watching and we can open this big bag of Sylvanians together. Okay guys, so I've got a few Sylvanians, a quite meager collection at the moment, but I have a few rabbits and babies to compare them with. Take a look at some of the listings. Most of them don't actually say Sylvanian families in the listing, but they are coming up underneath the search term, which means they're probably using them as tags somewhere in the listing. You can tell they're trying to sell them off as Sylvanian families because they'll use forest families as a keyword, which is another similar toy. And they also use some of the original toy pictures as well. That's not to say that they don't sell originals as well, because I have seen some listings that are a lot higher priced, so I assume they are the original Sylvanian families. But today we're just going to look at the simulation ones and a few others that I wasn't sure of. So let's get into it. The first pair of fake simulation Sylvanians that I bought were these two-piece baby Sibilu monkeys. Um, I don't have monkeys to compare against, but I thought these were really cute and I wanted to see what the quality was like. So as you can see, these are very, very cute. They have little dungaree outfits on in a shiny fabric, which I've never seen used in um, the baby sets. They generally have kind of knitted rompers. They have rotating joints and on the head, not so well. It doesn't rotate very well. They even have the little dot on the bottom, which is from the moldings that they use when they cast the plastic figurines. And some people have said that this is a sign that you have an original Sylvanian family, but obviously not in this case because they do now have them on the fakes as well. But the flocking on them is a little bit rougher than I would say on the originals. Um, the colouring is also different, the eyes are different, and they don't seem to have much expression on their face. The shape of the difference in the marking on the head is quite similar, but as you can see, like the flocking on the originals is much smoother and just doesn't look as scuffed up and is more soft. So that is the main differences here. When you compare them to the pictures of the original Darwin Sylvanian family monkeys, they just don't have the same colouring or expression or detail in their clothes, which is a shame. The ears are pretty much in the same place and maybe with a little bit of outfit change you could get away with them in your set, but the quality on here is just not as good. Um, these were pretty cheap, so you're, it's to be expected with this, but that is the main differences between this family and the real Sylvanian monkey family. So let's get on to the next one and see what they're like. So the next set I bought was a two set um, of bears. Now I think these were listed as grandma grandpa bears or something like that. I wanted to get them because the clothes were a lot more detailed and they looked quite similar to the original bears. But since unwrapping them, I have noticed they are quite different. But only a keen eye would probably know if you're not too clued up in Sylvanians, you probably wouldn't guess this one, that it was a fake. But let's get into it and have a look and see what the main differences are. So first impressions, they are very, very cute. The outfits are adorable as well and look quite detailed too. Um, they do have pretty big eyes and they are a slightly different colouring from the originals, a much lighter tan colour. They did come in good condition, but as you can see with the flocking compared to one of my originals, it just looks scuffed and a little bit worn away, as if there isn't as much good quality flocking on the doll itself. You can also tell with the ears on the bears, they're a little bit more sharp and not as rounded as the original bears, and tend to look a little bit more cat-like. 
The outfits themselves are actually quite detailed and are definitely usable probably for any of the stalls. Um, I'll probably be reusing these outfits and making patterns from them at some point because they are definitely good quality and up to scratch of the other Sylvanian families. This particular one doesn't have a tail. I'm not sure if the uh, original bear ones have tails. Let me know in the comments if they do. If they don't, really, they should be putting tails on the bear dolls. I would say the main difference of this doll really is the colouring and the definition in the muzzle. It's not as defined and coming out as much. But aside from that, they are still very cute and would probably fit into your sets quite easily. It's only until you look closely that you think there's something a little off with these guys. But the next one that I bought is a real test because they were rabbits. Now I wanted to see what the rabbits looked like in person because they're one of the biggest sellers in Sylvanian families. So let's see how these fake simulation ones ended up looking. Well, here they are. They are a little bit scary. I don't know what it is about these, but they do kind of give me the creeps. These kind of remind me of rabbits that you see in those old vintage pictures that kids used to go and see at Easter and they're dressed up like so creepily. But yeah, these just aren't it. They are really, really different. For a start, one of the rabbits is a completely different shade of flocking, so they don't match. Their uh, ears are so, so sharp, but don't look soft at all um, compared to the originals. Their joints and stuff move as per usual. And let's just mention the eyes, the uh, soulless eyes. <laughs> they are really uh, creepy. I think it might be because they are a little bit too close together and quite big. And uh, yeah, they just look a bit uh, soulless, these rabbits. Like when you compare it to the originals, the eyes are a little bit smaller and a little bit further set apart, so they look a little cuter. And the definition in the mouth is just not there, so they just look blank of expression and just dead inside. Their ears as well are too sharp and um, the colouring is just too much for bright pink. But the sizing on these are pretty much accurate. They are exactly the same height, um, the same kind of width on them as well. Um, this is, goes across all of the Sylvanians that I got here. Um, but yeah, they just do not look as cute whatsoever. Um, they did have brown ones on the website, which did look a lot like the one I'm holding here. So maybe I should have got those to compare. But um, yeah, these rabbits. <laughs> They just look like so scary to me, I don't know. They just look very creepy. But the clothing is quite nice, like it's not too bad on these ones either. Again, he's missing his t-shirt, so. Also, both these rabbits are devoid of tails, which is a big detail in rabbits that we need to have on them. So these ones don't have them, unfortunately. This is a lot more noticeable on these ones here, their arms and the way they're holding their arms out are just so wide. They're just like really built different. I'm built different. And the limbs are a little bit too long. This is a child rabbit here that I'm holding on the right. So it is a little bit smaller anyways, but you can just tell that the arms just come out way too far and uh, look like they're about to attack you or something. Again, the flocking is not as soft either, so this is a real shame, especially as the listing photos did have on the first listing photo um, one of the original rabbits, the Freya rabbits, as their pictures, um, but I could see straight away that these ones were not going to come out well at all. What do you think of them in the comments? Let me know. They really are a cursed version of the Calico Critters and I don't know what to do with them. I don't think they should be in the family or in my sets. Um, I think they're gonna creep the other ones out. They're gonna be the weird neighbors, that's for sure. I mean, look how cute the original one looks and these ones just, they look possessed. They really do look possessed. So yeah, not a great one. I didn't, wouldn't recommend these ones. Maybe try the brown ones out and see what they're like. I think they had slightly different moldings on them. 
Even though these are terrifying to look at, I will find a use for them. I'm probably, I might make a Halloween set or so. Yeah, we can do that and see for a video if you'd like. So let's quickly hurry on to the next ones because I don't want to be looking at these any longer than I have to. Okay, so the next one that I bought was labeled as a factory defects forest family animal figure. And all of the pictures looked very similar to the Sylvanian families, but they just had defects and no clothing. So I was intrigued to see whether I would get a genuine one or one that just looked a little bit similar to this, but not the same as the pictures. So in this one, I got a little brown rabbit. I couldn't pick exactly what came. It was just a sort of uh, you get what you get kind of thing. And um, this one, I got a sort of brown rabbit, which is similar to the Sunny Rabbit family set. And I have one of those and we can compare and see if it's similar. Now, if we check out another baby, it is pretty much exactly the same height. Um, the flocking on this again is quite soft. Um, there's slight defects on it, but it said that they were going to have defects. The ears are very similar shaped. The arms are rounded and quite curved like the other baby. The only main difference here is the eye shape. The, even the mouth is pretty similar too. So I feel like this is an original Sylvanian family. As you can see, there are little nicks and tears here. I checked out some of the other reviews and pictures of this listing, and some other people got ones that were really badly damaged. Now, as you can see, this does look like a very, very good match. The only thing that's putting me off thinking that this is a fake Sylvanian is the eye shape for the babies. It looks a little bit big. Um, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a genuine one or not. It was not listed as a genuine Sylvanian family, so again, I'm not entirely sure. Um, the only thing is the eye size. As you can see, the eye sizes are dramatically different on these two babies. Also, this one doesn't have a tail, but the babies generally don't have tails as far as I know. So aside from the eye differences, there really isn't much difference in these and looks very convincing and definitely looks like part of the family of that I have of the sunny ones. So it will definitely come in useful. Let me know in the comments below if you think it's genuine or not. And if I've been scammed, I'm not sure, but maybe it's just cheap because it's fake. I'm not too sure. So let me know. Okay guys, so on to the last one. I bought a listing that had the actual name Sylvanian Families in the title, and it was called Original Sylvanian Families Figure ornaments, accessories, pretend play, flocking toy, children. This was also more expensive with a subtotal of 840, including shipping with that. So I was expecting to get the real thing. Um, it was kind of a lucky dip to what you got. Um, you just picked on what size figure that you wanted. I think they also said that they may have been defected as well, some slight damage to them. So these websites possibly are just getting factory seconds and selling them off. Um, I got a poodle from the poodle family and first impressions this was packed very well um, compared to the other ones and definitely just does look right. Um, I have compared with the other pictures and the other ones in particular, this is immediately tons softer. The flocking on this is really really soft compared to the other dolls and the proportions look a lot more correct. As you can see, like with the arms on the rabbit, um, these arms lie a lot more flatter to the body. So you can definitely tell that the molding on this is correct from the Sylvanian family lines. Um, also the markings on the face look correct as well. We have a little bit of a brown nose, which is uh, featured on the other ones and most importantly we have a tail and the poodle tail is quite iconic um is on like a little bit of piece of wire like a pipe cleaner so you can move it um like the other ones in these sets didn't have any tails so they're obviously cutting corners here on these simulation ones which the sylvanian families don't so we definitely have a legitimate one here i think 
I also shopped around on AliExpress to try and see if there was any knockoff poodle ones and I did come across a few photos. I'll insert them here so you can see the differences and the differences are definitely apparent. They're still pretty good if you did want to get some of the poodle ones as replacements um, or just needed a cheaper alternative. They do match quite well and there's a few uh, sets in amongst the AliExpress stuff that do look quite similar. I've noticed the chipmunks look quite good as well So if you want to try out any of those those may be the ones to get instead of the rabbits don't get them <laughs> But yeah, these actually worked out pretty well This original Sylvanian family one didn't come with any clothes either so I might have to make some for him uh, if you'd like to see that, uh, let me know in the comments and we can maybe make some clothes together for this poodle. So it looks like we didn't get scammed on this one. As you can see, alongside the bear and the poodle, um, these fake ones do tend to blend in quite well. Um, the rabbits definitely don't. But um, yeah, we won on this one at least. Maybe a little bit more expensive than just buying the full set. But overall, some of these Sylvanian fakes do work, some of them definitely don't. I'm looking at you, rabbits. But yeah, all in all, this was a fun little video and I thought it might be interesting for some of you if you're collectors or just have some that you are not sure whether they are real or fake and it's a good video to determine these fake ones and see the details and what makes them real or not. So you can get fooled with these, but if you are just looking for a cheap set of toys, these definitely do the job. They're not the originals, so be aware of that if you are going to be selling them on. And uh, if you're going to be buying any of them, make sure you don't get fooled by certain details, which you can definitely check out with the original photos. It's very easy to recognise if you know where to look. And like that saying goes, if the price seems too good to be true, it probably is. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to give my channel a subscribe as I will be uploading a few more Sylvanian content videos soon and more dollhouse videos, of course, in the future. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.